This is the first zebra crossing in Dundalk and we need many more. This crossing came about as a result of a campaign run by the young social innovators in St Vincent's School behind me here who approached the council and pointed out how dangerous it was in the mornings and afternoons to get across this road without risking life and limb. They spoke to myself and my colleague Councillor Jim Darcy about their problem and on foot of a motion that I put down to have this crossing built, it was introduced in autumn of 2008 and started flashing as it does now around Christmas time last. How do you use a zebra crossing? Well, as you approach, you should be watching traffic coming in both directions and stand at the crossing to indicate to oncoming traffic that you wish to use it. Cars are obliged to slow down and stop to allow you to do so. But remember, until you are on the zebra crossing, you don't have the right of way. So be careful as you step out. Never step onto the crossing if you think it will cause a driver to break suddenly or to swerve. This is a new crossing and it's the only one in Dundalk. So let's see if everybody else understands the rules of zebra crossing too. Clearly not. As you can see, some motorists know the rules and some don't. And it could take a long time before all the drivers in Dundalk get to know the rules of a zebra crossing. 